Well, thankfully, we've had some clear weather over the last couple nights, allowing for people to easily view the comet in the western sky. I was able to get out and get a glimpse of it. Uh, kind of hard to see with the naked eye, but uh, the uh, phone cameras nowadays uh, allow you to brighten things up a little bit, so that helped me see that a little better. Take this awesome picture, and thanks for all of you sending in some amazing photos over the last couple nights. Keep them coming over the rest of this week, as that comet's going to stick around for a little bit. So Comet Chuchingchan Atlas uh, is coming from likely the Oort cloud. So this is well beyond the orbit of Neptune, and it's just a cloud of frozen objects. It may contain trillions of comets. Uh, this was first discovered in early 2023, and it's got a very impressive tail on it that you can see with the naked eye. That's when this comet, this frozen ball of ice, gets close to the sun. The heat from the sun starts to cause that ice to turn into gas, and that's the trail that you see behind the comet. Uh, that long tail is just a trail of gas as that ice uh, starts to uh, turn from ice to gas. Now, if you want to go out and view it yourself, you got uh, the rest of this week to do so. You may need your camera for a little help. I would say go out about 45 minutes after sunset. So you're looking at right at about 7 p.m., right as you're starting to see some of those first stars appear in the sky. You'll hopefully be able to pick that out uh, as we do have clear weather over the next few nights. It's going to be a chilly one tonight, though. We're just above freezing right now. May dip into the upper 20s, the spots that avoided some of the widespread frost or that hard killing freeze last night are under freeze warnings again tonight. So that's primarily areas like Rockford, Oregon, Dixon, Lee County, and then all spots east of I-39. You'll be wanting to keep those uh, protective layers on your plants through about 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. And this is pretty typical for this time of year to get that first freeze. As you can see, we're right on average, but our freezing nights more often than not have been trending much later in the year due to human caused climate change. Uh, so we're looking at about a 14 day difference, two week difference compared to just the last 50 years. Our falls are getting warmer, so our freezes are getting later. That means a longer growing season, but also a lot more time with fall allergies as well as fall pests like bugs and things. Uh, so there are plenty of drawbacks to having those freezes eases trend later and later, all part of course our warming world. Speaking of warming, we are back to average tomorrow. Temperatures then not frosty by Thursday night. Another warm spell means temperatures in the 70s as we go into the weekend. That hangs out into until early next week. And as you can see, no rain coming anytime soon. Lots of sunshine makes it a little easier to get outdoors. In your most accurate 10 day forecast, so we really could use some rain though as we are in a drought. Next 10 days, bone dry, just like it has been the last few weeks.